Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to all the mod 7 to the sky. Get it? Because, because we're up in the sky and oh dear, that's a long way down. <laughs> yep, quite literally. This mod pack was released about a month ago at the time of recording this and I've been wanting to do some content with an ATM mod pack for a while and when I saw this I thought, why not give it a shot? So here we are with a pilot episode, which means I'll be looking at the feedback on this video, how many of you guys watch it, if you guys enjoy it and want to see more. And based on the feedback, I'll decide if I'll be continuing the series. So if you do want to see this continue, do let me know by leaving a like and commenting down below if you enjoyed this video and want to see this as a series. And of course, if you're new, subscribe and comment down below when you do. I'd love to welcome you to the channel. Now I have done a little bit of research here and I think I know kind of what I'm doing. First things first, I'm going to punch all this grass to get a bunch of seeds, primarily industrial herb seeds. Yes, grass seeds, that is what I wanted. We do have FTB Ultra Mine, so I can mine this up and hopefully I'll get a few saplings. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. All right, first things first, I'm gonna get a crafting table. And then after that, I am going to get a chest because this inventory is going to get really, really annoying to deal with very fast. And I do believe that we can twerk ow, the street. Oh, hey, B. Anyways, we're going to get a bunch of wood here, just like that. And we do have a bunch of quests here. Welcome to ATM seven in the sky. And yeah, as you can see, we have a bunch of stuff here getting started. We also have getting started part two, basic storage, applied logistics, food and farming, all that good stuff. We gotta take it, gotta take a look at all of that. But for now, we're just gonna get started here. So I need to get a bunch more wood clearly. So we gotta get started with that right away. Whoa, there's gonna be a lot of wood and a lot of saplings as well. Wow. <laughs> yep. Wait, I think I think we're secure when it comes to saplings. 32. Wow, that's a lot. Okay. Well, I think I can now grab this and we need a crook to move on here. So we're going to make that. And if I just plant another tree, wow, I can go ahead and use ultra mine to mine this and I can get silkworms. Now, if I grow another tree, I'm going to grow this one over here, I think. And then I can infest it with the silkworms. And that's how we're going to get our very first string. Now, the next thing I want to do is right click the grass because ooh, no, I'm going to scroll all the way over here because we can get a bunch of pebbles here, which we are going to be using to get our very first stone tools and also progress quite fast actually. I have played with some of these mods before so I kind of know what I'm doing. Basically we're gonna get some of these pebbles and we are going to be making some sieves and stuff like that and look at that that is ready to go and we got some stone and I'm gonna go ahead and make I think a stone axe as well as a stone pickaxe to begin with. I'm gonna get my crook out and we're gonna get this and get a punch of string. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and make a few slabs here and I'm going to search sieve and I'm gonna make four of these and then I'm gonna put them down in a hole right over here I think just like so. Now we could go ahead and just make some string mesh but we could go ahead and upgrade it straight away to flint mesh because we can craft flint, flint from gravel and I can get gravel if I go ahead and make a hammer like so I can go ahead and place three cobblestone mine it up with the hammer I get gravel and with the gravel I can go ahead and make one flint. So I'm basically just gonna have to sit here and get a bunch of these stone pebbles and when I do I can convert it to cobblestone then gravel then flint and we are going to straight off the bat have a better mesh. I'm not really sure what the difference is of them but I'm assuming the higher like the higher value it is the better it's going to be when when it comes to maybe yield or a chance of getting stuff I don't know. There we go two stacks exactly now one thing I really do love about this is this type of quest system, which kind of just helps you. Uh, I don't need a tutorial. I'm good. Which just helps you on your way of, you know, oh, oh, this is cool. So it shows you how you can do certain things. That's really cool. I don't need that though. I don't need that, but thank you very much. I will take the XP. So yeah, you could use this to guide you if you're lost and or don't know what to go for. Currently, we're at this stage, which can then lead us straight to the furnace, 
get Iron Mesh and Flint Mesh, which is our first upgrade. With the Flint Mesh, you'll start getting some actual resources. If you're wondering what each mesh drops when sieving, you can always hit U and UI on the mesh to check out the list. Ooh, I'm not sure I completely understand this, but one thing I do see is if I have Iron Mesh and run through with Crushed Endstone, I can get Platinum pieces and Ender Pearls. However, if I only have Flint Mesh, I can only get platinum pieces. So it does have a difference on what you get, I suppose, which is completely understandable. Now 36 cobblestone, so I'll need one, two, three. So that's one piece of flint. And with this, we should have enough for our very first flint mesh. Oh, right. We first need to make a normal mesh, just like so. And then we can go ahead and make a string mesh, just like that. And there we go. We completed the sieve. We completed this as well, which gives us a little bit of flint. Now we will want to upgrade to Iron Mesh at some point, but we're not quite there just yet. But we do have our Flint Mesh now and we can place it in there just like so. And this should be enough for our sec oh. This should be enough for our second piece of Flint Mesh. Three string mesh, so that's one more. What's this? Cucumber salad? Oh, that's a lot of meat pops. Oh, I'll save that for sure. Well, I'll be back when I have enough flint to complete all the meshes, because then we can continue this journey. All right, and we do now have enough flint to complete all the flint meshes just like that. Beautiful. Time for a lunch break. Now back to work. However, now that we have these flint meshes, what we can now go ahead and do, if I go ahead and get even more pebbles, that is I can go ahead and make stone and then turn into gravel, but then I can run this gravel through the mesh and get things like this, iron pieces, copper pieces, tin pieces, and nickel pieces. And once I get enough, I believe I can turn this into ores like so. I also got some coal and some cinnabar, so I'm gonna, again, Go ahead and sit here for a little bit, gather a bunch of pebbles, and I'll be back so we can sieve a bunch of it. All right, I now have enough to create 32 cobblestone, which I'm now going to just make a tower out of and convert to gravel. Hopefully I'm not gonna die from this. I guess we'll find out. Ow, that almost went into the void. That would have not been good. Anyway, let me empty this out and let's sieve all of this stuff. There we go, we're getting a bunch of different materials here. We're getting lead pieces, nickel pieces, tin pieces, copper pieces, and flint and stuff like that. Really awesome. So now I'm just gonna keep doing this, and I do need to get some stone to make a furnace as well. I do wonder if I can make a furnace out of any stone. It seems like I can do it with black stone, and I do have a bunch of that. So if I convert all this into black stone and make a furnace like this, yes, perfect. That is really awesome that we can do that because then I can go ahead and make my first iron piece. Look at that. Awesome. I'll be needing a lot more gravel though in order to get, well, a lot more iron. So far I only have one raw iron piece. I'm gonna go ahead and make another chest, place it on top. And that is basically going to be for all the stuff that I get from searing stuff. Now I just went ahead and made this oak barrel which we can use things like saplings and whatnot to go into and then once it has reached 100% it's actually going to turn into dirt so we can make some sort of automated process with like our remaining oak saplings just place a chest and a hopper going into it converting it to dirt, dirt and then just exiting in a chest for us to save or to have, do whatever we want. But our next step is actually going to be reaching cobblestone generators up here because that means we can just have uh, cobblestone generators just automatically well going so that is going to be our next step and to reach that we are going to be needing a crucible and to get that we need clay and to get clay we need water in the barrel to get with dust I know how to get dust we get that from uh, hammering sand basically however I wonder how yes we need a normal crucible, which we make like that. So if I grab a slab real quick, I can make an oak crucible. And with this, I should be able to place stuff like that. And as you can see, it goes very, very slowly, turning it into water. So eventually we'll have a bucket of water there because that means we can then get clay, which means we can create the fire crucible because in order to make that, we need puzzle and clay and to make get that, we need bone meal and clay balls. And to get bone meal, we sieve dust. So it all comes around to doing this. So again, while that does its thing, I'm just gonna sit here and get a bunch of rocks. 
Well, that is perfect timing. I don't have a roof and I'm gonna get wet. Anyways, the oak barrel has been filled, so thanks to the rain, so that's awesome. Plus, we have the oak crucible now complete, and I have sieved two stacks of flint, and this is what I've been getting out of it. Two raw iron. Yep, that's not a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> but it is three, so we can now make, I guess, a bucket. But what we need to do now is actually get some dust. So I need to get a little bit more stone. There we go. If I use this cobblestone, get gravel, then turn it into sand, and then turn that sand into dust, and then put that in here, that means we now have clay. Yay! Quest complete. So now we have the dust, and we have the sand. And that is that completed. We can now move up to the old fired up, which is the fire crucible, which means we need porcelain clay. So my next task is to get bone meal, and for that I need to sieve some dust. So I can convert two of these into clay. Now I just need to sieve this dust. Hopefully we're gonna get a bunch of bone meal. Okay, sky stone dust? Interesting. Anyway, I'm gonna place this down now. Sieve this. Hopefully we're gonna get all... I got nothing from that. Oh dear. Okay, I need more bone meal. This, then do this, and then do this, please. Two more bone meal. Nope. Okay, I, I see how this is now. I see how this is going to go. I finally have seven bone meal, which I can then combine with seven clay ball, which gives us porcelain clay, which then gives us unfired crucible, which I can then... Ooh, we got iron. We can then place that in here, and if we cook it, we should get what we need. And what did I just get? Ooh, scrambled eggs. Oh, I love scrambled eggs. Okay, I'm gonna celebrate with that at the end of this episode. And there we go, fired. Crucible. Now in order to use this, I am going to, I think, put it over here. And what I'll need is a little bit of a torch. Now we will want to use something else in the future, but for now, the torch should be able to power this thing. And if I then go ahead and get a block of cobblestone, boop, just like that, and place it in there, that should convert to lava. Well, it is converting to lava, I just need a little bit more. I need three more cobblestone, and it's going to be quite slow at the beginning. But I believe once this is done, I will have lava there, and I'll be able to place it underneath the fire crucible, and it's going to work a lot faster. But what we're really after is, of course, this thing, which should be fairly easy to get. I just need to do a bunch more sieving, as I will be needing another bucket. So I guess I'll see you when all of this has converted to lava. All right, we have a full bucket of lava right here. So if I pick this up, I would think that if I then grab this, please don't fall off. There we go. And place lava in here. And then uh, maybe place you there and do that. Yes, heat now says three before with the torch it's at one. So that might mean it's going to go three times as fast. Maybe. Yeah, looks like it. However, things are now on fire. <laughs> that's not good. So for now, I think I'm gonna, oh dear. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this lava because we can use it for other things right now. Place the torch and replace that dirt. There we go, nothing ever happened. Because we can now go ahead and make the cobblestone generator. So if I go ahead and do this, cobble gen one recipe. Yeah, I know it's two, there we go. Nice, cobblestone generator one. And if I go ahead and we get the buckets, that's amazing. If I go ahead and make a chest here, I do want to quickly see though. I got a bunch of rewards there, that's cool. How much for a cobblestone? Cobblestone, more lava and more water. So I did some more progress off camera here. I got infinite water here basically. And now I just need to wait for this lava to go and we will be able to upgrade it straight to a tier two. I think that is definitely going to be worth it. So I think I'm gonna AFK a little bit because getting a tier two right off the bat would be kinda nice. But for now, I think I will just place this right here because we could always pick this thing up and it's going to generate cobblestone automatically. I think it's going to output output automatically. No. Oh, what? Oh, oh yeah, I can move stuff like that. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't output it automatically. I'm going to be needing a hopper. So yeah, I'm gonna AFK for this lava. I'm gonna do a little bit more searing, 
get some more iron, stuff like that, and I will be right back so we can make a tier 2 and make this fully automated. So this is interesting. Currently, if I sail the gravel f through the flint mesh, I have a 10% drop chance, but if I had a diamond mesh, I would be able to get a 50% drop chance using sand. And the drop chance would be increased if I used iron mesh with gravel as well. So these meshes, we definitely want to upgrade those when we can. But while I was looking at this, we got a visitor and ooh, wow. Okay, that, that's an amazing deal right there. If I had emeralds, that is. Well, uh, yep, yeah, so I guess I have a visitor now. Um. This is great. This is lovely. How far along is this? Oh dear me. <laughs> All right, I finally got enough iron to go ahead and make a hopper. So if I place this right there, the cobblestone is now heading into this chest. That is really awesome because I no longer need to spend so long just looking at the ground and right clicking to get pebbles. That was getting... <laughs> A bit tiresome. So now the cobblestone is being generated automatically. So now I'm just waiting for this lava to finish. But in the meantime, of course, I'm not going to waste any time. I'm going to keep serving gravel. And I mean, as soon as possible, we will want to try and automate the process for graveling. We can automate sieving the Flux Sieve RF powered automatic sieve, which is awesome. Ooh. Oh, hold on. This mod has an automatic hammer powered by RF. It does require a diamond hammer and we can get diamonds from searing, from searing gravel through iron mesh. So we got a little bit of a way to go there, but it is doable. So that's very cool. We know we can automate the flux hammer here using RF, which is actually in the getting started part two chapter right here, getting the automated flux sieve and flux hammer. Of course, we do need some sort of power generation before we can do that. But now, let's just wait for the lava to finish. Look at all the cobblestone. <laughs> this has made life so much easier being able to just, well, do this, essentially. Just build a tower, not having to right click the ground to get the pebbles. Man, this is nice. And then we do this. Take some fall damage, grab the gravel, and then go through the saving. I no longer need to make the cobblestone. This is so, so huge. And if we can automate the hammering process and then the saving process as well, that, that's just going to be perfect. Because then we can basically automate getting iron, which then makes us getting iron sieves not too complicated, actually. Almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Done. Nice. Now I could use this lava as fuel down there and then get some more lava, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and get four more cobblestone, put it in there, because I'm going to use this to upgrade our cobblestone generator to tier two. That is awesome. Nice. Is that like twice as fast? Looks like twice as fast. And guys, I think I'm going to call this an episode here. We have done a lot of progress. I can now go ahead and do that done. The next thing is, of course, to get the cobble gen tier three, but of course we need a lot more iron for that. So we're not gonna get there quite yet. We are so close at starting power. So in the next episode, if I do decide to continue the series again, if you do want to see this as a series, leave a like and let me know down below in the comments. But if we do an episode two, we'll get started with power. We're gonna get some generators going. We're probably gonna get started in getting started part two getting started on this chapter, automating the hammering process and the sieving process. I'm very excited. I'm also going to do some off camera work, like getting the lava done, maybe doing some more farming, stuff like that. So guys, really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, again, be sure to leave it a like, subscribe if you're new and let me know down below. If you have subscribed, I would love to welcome you to the channel in person. But yeah, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in an episode two. Have a wonderful day and goodbye. Oh wait, I, I promised scrambled eggs. Yes. Nom nom nom. Hearty meal. Eat anything crafted. Ooh. Well, I didn't really craft it, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I love scrambled eggs. I, I want scrambled eggs now. I, I hmm, Maybe I should go make some. Anyways, have a wonderful day. See you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>